Hi guys, so today is going to be a little bit different than what I've been doing besides like my makeup tutorials. I wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about something that's been, you know, going on with me and I feel like maybe a lot of people can relate to it. I'm a little nervous because I didn't want to do like talking videos until later on when I started to really grow my channel but recently I've been going through some things and I feel like this is just something I need to get off my chest so stay tuned so by the title of this video you can probably guess what i'm talking about anxiety so i suffer from anxiety for as long as i can remember recently so like, i'm graduating college in a few weeks at the end of may and school has been a lot and between interning which is like has turned into more of a job which i'm very very thankful for but I just put a lot of pressure on myself and my anxiety has hit me and I'm dealing with some stuff with my health. I had ulcers all in my mouth at the end of March and I was in a lot of pain. I was out for a week from like school and work because I could not function. I was in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of pain. The doctors don't know why I have ulcers um, but then I was on steroids. And they went away, thank God. But then, come about two weeks ago, I woke up with a pain in my throat, and I just knew that they came back. And I had it under my cheek, underneath my lip, underneath my tongue, and it, it just was killing me. And so I had to go to the doctors, and I ended up getting blood work done the other day. And thank God, it's not like an autoimmune disease because that would have been something else I have to worry about but I have the allergist this coming week coming up to see like what's going on what caused these ulcers because the amount of pain I was in was really really severe and the doctors when they looked in my throat because I had my first time all along here it was really really bad and they just they asked me all these questions and I was like no never had that no 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 so between those ulcers in my mouth, not being myself, you know, just putting the pressures on myself for work and school, my anxiety just hit me and it took me back to a place where about six years ago, I was really, really bad with my depression. And I don't really talk about it to even like my family. Um, my, like my close friends know how bad I was, but I will talk about depression, I think, later on, because it's something that's really, really raw to me still, because I'm still dealing with it, but my anxiety has just taken a toll on me, and I have, like, over here, like, there's, like, a bone that pops out, and I went to the doctor, they said it was fine, probably from, like, cheerleading, they said, years ago, um, but whenever I know, like, I, my chest is really, like, tight, there's, like, this bone that starts to pop out and that's when I know my anxiety is like kicking in really hard the whole point of this video is for me to hopefully like reach some people who are dealing with it and you feel like you're alone because you know nobody can really help you I have like a really close friend to me and we talk every single day we text every single day and she'll tell me like everything will be okay you know one day things will work out but sometimes no matter what she says it doesn't matter because it does matter and it means so much to me that I have somebody by my side and I have my sister and my family by my side too but sometimes like no matter what the outside world says like you have to deal with it and I don't sleep well I have trouble sleeping so my mind is my not my mind is always running so recently I've been trying to just really calm down and breathe because at the end of the day, you can't control everything. You can only control like putting your clothes on in the morning, brushing your teeth, you know, you're going to work, but whatever happens, happens. And you're going to school and you're doing the best you can, but whatever's happened is going to happen. And it's hard for me to even, you know, cope with it and you know like deal with that because I want to I just want everything to be okay but I know that no matter what I do things will happen and from someone who suffers from depression as well it's 
for me, I'm scared to fall back because it's easy to fall back, but it's harder to get back up and keep going. <sighs> Trying to get my thoughts together. <sighs> Breathe. I don't know if this video is going to make sense, but, you know, years ago when I was going through my depression and I'll, again, like I'll talk about that later on in other videos, I came to YouTube and I would watch, like these YouTubers now that are so famous, but back then they had such little following, but I was like one of their followers. I would watch their videos and I would be able to go to sleep because I was at peace in my mind. It was able to, I can go to something and watch something and be able to relax. And now, I don't know what made my anxiety worse. I don't know if it was the ulcers. I don't know if... I've been through a lot within my body. And I keep a lot in. And I don't talk about much. It's weird because like my family always jokes around that I talk a lot. But I don't talk about the things that really bother me. And I put a lot of weight on my shoulders because I just want everybody to be okay and I want to take care of everybody and oh, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional it's funny because I feel like if my family watch this they're gonna be so confused of why I'm getting like this but I just like my mom will probably understand because I talk to her a lot and You know, it's like one like one thing happens, another thing happens. One thing after the other after the other, and I'm so thankful for what I have. Like I never, I don't like complaining, because I feel like people have it worse than I do. But again, nobody knows what I've been through. Nobody will ever understand. Um, in my people in my circle, because I feel like. Maybe somebody who's watching now, one of you guys will understand, but I feel like the people around me, they don't really understand if that makes any sense. <sighs> okay. I don't want to be down, you know, because I feel like what, what I want to do with this channel is to encourage people and for other people to feel like there's someone out there that can relate and that you're not alone. And for those who do suffer from anxiety, I understand. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle. And for me, I know I'm strong because I wake up and I and I still go throughout my day. And I want people to know, like, you, you are strong. So with all that being said, I hope that this is short. I keep doing like little clips just so I, cause I'm like five minutes, five minutes. I'm like, oh my God, this video doesn't be so long. But I hope you get what I'm trying to say. And there'll be definitely more videos to come, more videos like this. And for me to get my thoughts together. Also on my Instagram, probably once a week, I try to do, I do these little like quotes that I come up with and on the bottom, I write like what how I'm feeling that's describing that quote and a lot of people actually like DM me and will be like I can relate to that and you know thank you for this so check that out my Instagram is xoxokay beauty and I actually talked about stress a few weeks ago on my latest post but yeah check it out and I'll see you guys soon Bye.